everybody, today I'm here to show you how a magnet works. And today, I'm going to tell you I'm going to tell you some facts about magnets and how they work. First off, let me um, make something quick. Alright, almost done. I know, I know, this is fast. Didn't want to bring an actual magnet by the computer. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, ow. Finished. So, first, I'm going to tell you what. What they what magnets attract? Magnets attract iron and steel. Here's a fact: lodestone is what was once known as magnesium. Lodestone is basically magnesium, which is a magnet. Um, and magnets have north poles and south poles. South pole, two south poles do not attract because, just like twins, they do not want to go each other, go for, close to each other because, well, sometimes it can be embarrassing. Same with north, well, north and south pole will attract. They're like best friends, pretty much. But north and north, no. South and south, no. Anyway, so. Um. Horseshoe magnets um, look like this. They pretty much look like a horseshoe. They're cut like a horseshoe. And the I'm okay. The bent forward parts, if you put them close to each other, they will magnetize. And as for the bar magnet, mag magnet, yes, magnet. Wait, I gotta do it. I forgot to do something on my magnet. Magnets. My magnets. Yes, my magnets. My magnets. Can't say magnets for some reason. Oh my gosh. Anyway, so I'm almost done. We have to do one more thing. Alright, finish. There. As you can see, the green side is the south pole, the blue side is the north pole. Oops. Okay. And these are bar magnets. Whenever they're placed with green to blue, or north to south, south to north, they will attract, as so. If turned the other way around, both of them, The green will attract the blue, or the blue will attract the green, and they will go together. But if two blues try to go together, and you try to push them as far as you can, they just won't go anymore. And if you try to put green to green, neither will go. This is because the, the two different ones are like mm, twins, as I told earlier. Magnets are also in compasses. Metal, metal needles are rubbed with magnets to make a temporary magnet. Also, Earth is like a giant magnet. The Earth's magnetic field is very much like a bar magnet. Three properties: attraction, direction, and poles, as in the south and north poles. 
The magnetic field is the place around a magnet where the magnet can act, or attract, or push back metal. The one, the one, the the magnetic field the Earth has most like would actually be a bar magnet. This is because the Earth has a north and south pole, just like a bar magnet. And that is why the magnet gives directions from the north and south pole. The north pole part points towards the north, and the south pole part pole points towards the south, of course. Because, well, the Earth is pulling it. And if it's let freely, it'll the north pole will point to the north, and the south pole will point to the south, just like in a compass. And now it's time for some questions about what you've learned. What do my magnets attract? I'll give you some time to think about it. You're correct. What was not what known once as lodestone, which is now called a magnet today? I'll give you some in, some time to think about your answer. Your time's up. You may say your answer out loud. If you said magnesium, you're correct. What kind of magnet looks like a horseshoe? Which is pretty easy. I'll give you some time to think about it. Around 10 seconds. Time's up. Now, if you said horseshoe magnet, you're correct. What looks like a bar? Which magnet looks like a bar? If you said bar magnet, you were correct. What can be rubbed to become a temporary magnet? What can be rubbed with a magnet become a temporary to become a temporary one? Oh, no. Time to think about it. Well, that's uh, okay. Say your say your answer out loud. If you said metal, you're correct. Well, that's it for today, guys. Like and review if you enjoyed and subscribe, and I'll see you later. Hi, Paul.